All right, coming up next on Nick at Night. And by the way, yes, this is Nick at Night. Week now update with Ellie Mule. Filled with uh, so many fun things, comedy, music, and things like that. And boy, boy, circus like Nick at Night. <laughs> hey, 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 you need all the uh, laughter you can get. <laughs> hey, the breeze. Yo. Now what's going on after that, huh? Coming after a weeknight update, we've got a review of an old Sonic cartoon. Sonic Underground reunited. Sonic, Manic, and Sonia have finally been reunited with their mother Queen Alina and are now in a sitcom show where they go on misadventures around Mobius. Rise up, Sonic fans! And to wrap tonight's program up, we chose the movie Gordon Years before our late night movie time. With Jim Carrey and Steve Carell as the main stars of the film, we are sure to give you good comedy. Alright, so don't get pied, folks! This is Nick at Night! Yeah! Friends and families always go on whenever they see a great show. That's why people should always watch a club in the face of death. Bring people together. What else can you do? Go football, Joe. Go college, Joe. It's awesome here. It's a week long there with Ellie Moore. And now. Alright! Baby I'm Creation, thanks for the theme song. Rocky Bull Tire K for Brisa Wolf, thanks for the uh the previews. Now, here we go. Try Scouts Walk with us, our Spec Spark Cadiz fan edits, that follow not in his vigilante videos and gameplays, the Rockets with his movie night program, and more of a maniac, Dr. Blood Studios and Cassie Dragon with the the crazy uh slideshows and things like that. Now <clears throat> You know, for, a, for a, a few years now, we have used dancing uh, bumpers uh, leading into and out of the commercial breaks. You know, made by uh, Neb509, aka Vigilante, who would uh, dance up a storm for about 10 seconds at a time. They were very amusing, uh, very entertaining. You know, of course, Tom and Cammy, uh, one of. Uh, one of our not ready for late night, one of our other not ready for late night players uh, said, you know, uh, don't take this the wrong way, boss, but, you know, uh, the bumpers with uh, Vigilante are, are kind of getting repetitive. You know, uh, so he made me some uh, new bumpers, you'll see them uh, tonight, and then, uh, you know, uh, further on down the line and things like that. You know, and so, we're retiring uh, Neb 519's uh, bumpers, and it's kind of, it kind of makes sense, though, because Neb 519 is uh, going to leave for uh, a week, no update in a few weeks. Anyway, so, there you go. You know, I, and I think I've uh, talked about uh, all those things a little too much. Hey, what's up? What's up with Colin Jokes? Another SNL loser who married too well. I'll explain. Especially, especially since almost nobody watches SNL anymore. During the MTV Movie and TV Awards, this is true. During the MTV and Move, MTV Movie and TV Awards, his wife Scarlett Johansson got mad at him for just slamming her during her speech. You know, uh, hey, good for him and too bad for her. Because, uh, you know, sliming is a Nickelodeon deal. But, but, okay, at least it was funny. A lot funnier than what uh, people saw on Saturday Night Live uh, the last couple of weeks. Or, well, actually, let's be honest, last uh, couple of decades. Anyway, look at his network. Well, let's look at his salary first. He makes twenty-five thousand dollars an episode on SNL. Wow, that's more than what some people make on Nick at Night. His real net worth is eight million dollars. Oh, that's not right. 
I'd probably be something uh, a little less than, I don't know, maybe, maybe uh, less than $1.8 million or something like that. I don't know. You know, because Saturday Night Live is pretty much all that he does. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, now, let's do a top eight list for MP and uh, Craig. I'm Craig Lewis, all right? All right. What is the category? Today's category, top eight great nickname for Colin Jones. Number eight, Jumpy. Number seven, fake Conan. Number six, a pretender. Number five, the flop. Number four, slime soup. Number three, fishy. Number two, skunky. And number one, dorky. Wait, dorky? Don't ask. Please, just don't ask, okay? Okay. All right, boys. Thank you very much. Here come, uh, here they come now. The new uh, bumpers. We'll be right back. The kids still call it. Uh, week now, they will have a new bumper. But first, here it is, your Violet Act. Spring is here. And <laughs> Spring! Yes. Here at Empire Carpets, everyone's happy lately. Our once a year sale is going great. We're clearing inventory, and you're getting some really nice carpeting for 10 to 50% off. Even at 50% off, we still bring samples out to you. There's no monthly payment till July. And we still include padding and installation. And this free gift is our best one yet. Watch how well it works. 588 to 300 Empire. Michael, who? Our permanent bumpers from now on. All right, you know, and for those of you who are wondering about uh, the Papa Nine's uh, bumpers, don't worry. You know, uh, Neb Papa Nine uh, even told me that it's all right for me to uh, retire them because he was going to retire from Week Now Update uh, as well. So there you go. Now let's have some talking time real quickly. Huh? Let's talk about. It. Let's go. Huh? Let's talk about it. All right, here we go. During the MTV Movie and Music Awards, you know, Scarlett Johansson won uh, the award, uh, won the uh, Generation Award in Sensational Stuff. 
she won uh, the uh, Generation Award at, yeah, that's what she did. She won her Generation Award at the MTV Movie and TV, Movie and TV Awards. You know, but here's the thing, right? While she was giving out her acceptance speech, Colin Jost surprised her by sliming her. I know. Shocking, right? Actually, uh, to be quite honest with you, that's pretty entertaining. You know, when uh, Colin said, MTV, you got slimed! So I actually said, that's Nickelodeon! He said, I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. I'll get a towel. That's what uh, he said. And I'm like, oh, uh, well, I'm glad that he apologized, but really? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Even if we got the wrong network, even though let's be honest, you know, uh, you know what, uh, MTV, CBS, uh, you know what, uh, Nickelodeon, aka Nick, Nickelodeon slash Nick at Night, you know, uh, you know, uh, technically where we are right now. Okay, well, on YouTube, but still. Alright, uh, you know, uh, Comedy Central, uh, you know the rest, right? They're all owned by uh, one company, right? So, come on. Colin was in the ballpark. <coughs> now, <clears throat> if we had said uh, a network that wasn't owned by the same uh, company, then it would have been uh, a huge issue. But, hey. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing that you can do about it, alright? Now, check this out, alright? You know, we're going to look at Colin Jost's actual uh, network. Things like that. Well, here's the thing, okay? You know what? There are several things about her, okay? He went to Harvard. You know, I uh, graduated with a degree in history and literature. It reminded me of uh, Conan O'Brien. You know, Colin Jost, uh, went through all that, Conan O'Brien, uh, same thing, yada, yada, yada. You know, so, there you go. Of course, he, he won uh, the college edition of The Weakest Link. You know, and won $5,250. You know, and he started uh, writing for Saturday Night Live in 2005. Next thing you know, he started uh, doing a weekend update, and then the rest uh, went on from there. But his net worth is $8 million, now, which makes no sense considering the fact that, you know, uh, he makes uh, $25,000 an episode on Saturday Night Live. And... Per year, he has made around well, $525,000. And I'm like, ouch. That's crazy. You know, if all of that uh, translates to his uh, $8 million uh, net worth, and I'll be uh, stunned to see uh, what's going to happen to him. Uh, if he ever gets up to a fifty thousand dollars an episode, which Laura Michaels will never give him, will never give because Laura Michaels is pretty cheap. But more now on this program, we're going to deal with Jenna Ortega. That's right, Jenna Ortega. We're going to deal with her and her newest projects. Wednesday, Jack Black, the energetic Jack Black. Thursday, Ellie Kemper. Oh boy, and then Friday. Ooh. Waterfalls, Friday. You'll love it. All right. You know what? Diamond Dot Cammy, Fabrice the Wolf, Rocky Ball 10, Neb 509, and Emmanuel Gaffney. That's right. They will help me get everything under control. Well, well, well on that particular episode. Okay. They will help me out. Okay. You know, you don't want to miss that. All right, so join us. 
right? That's the news. I'm out, Keith. Bro, 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 bro.